So Massimo, thank you very much for being with us. I think that uh, we've been uh, very much looking forward to, to have you talking to our community. And uh, as we said in the invitation, this is a topic that uh, is of interest of, I think that every one of us that is here in this, in this talk are uh, really looking forward to see your perspective and to learn from you and to learn together. Um, so it's all yours. Uh, if you want, would you introduce yourself to the participants? And then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead. Uh, we'll do as usual. Uh, Massimo is going to do the presentation. He's happy to be interrupted if anyone wants clarification. So you have questions, just put your hands up and uh, I'll make sure that you that you can interact with Massimo. Uh, and we'll be um, uh, as usual to um, for 90 minutes uh, approximately. Okay. So Massimo, it's all yours. Thank you, Angela. Uh... Uh, for uh, and John for inviting me to this uh, uh, meta forum. Um, uh, I am uh, uh, by trade, I am a political economist, uh, although I will not talk about economics in 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 uh, in this presentation. I, I've been uh, uh, at, at the moment I'm uh, uh, I've retired from uh, the University of East London where I worked for several uh, many years um, and I live uh, in Italy now. Uh, my uh, my interest uh, has always been uh, uh, the, the 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 problematic of uh, social change in a way or another. I am. Uh, um, uh, I started my journey as a Marxist economist, and here is the cap to document this. And the 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 the, the Marx in me <laughs> is always there. But uh, my journey from economics has uh, been really taking a very uh, large transdisciplinary uh, journey. Um, uh, I've been uh, working uh, on uh, uh, on the commons for several years, uh, which uh, I've uh, tried to connect to the problematic of uh, of social change, of uh, change in the the way um, our world is constructed uh, in the in the everyday, in the in its uh, own uh, uh, very basic. Uh, uh, programs of, of social cooperation, the way it is structured. Uh, I have been, uh, uh, not long ago, I've been, I've encountered, um, uh, following my interest in, 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 in system theory and complexity theory, and then cybernetics, I've discovered the work of Stafford Beer, which uh, I have been trying recently to integrate it to a general perspective for social change. So my um, my work today, my presentation today um, will uh, uh, is divided in two parts. Um, and the first part is uh, um, is, is is a very condensed version of uh, uh, of a book I'm writing now on uh, um, the so-called order of things, as Foucault would would call it, the way uh, we uh, our our world is structured in terms of uh, its uh, functioning, uh, in terms of uh, the, the the reproductions of of, of life on uh, and the destruction of life uh, uh, on on the planet. Um, uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, I try to integrate um, uh, the work of uh, clearly my, 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 my Marxist background with, uh, um, with uh, an understanding of the complexity of the world. So not trying to reduce it to one category to another. Uh, uh, and I've been inspired a lot uh, by the work of uh, uh, two uh, uh, 
biology cyberneticians, which is Maturana and Varela, which already came out in my previous book um, on the commons and was called Omnia Sum Comunia, all in common. Um, and uh, I, in the first part, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a, a, a journey through uh, trying to um, show what is the problem, to argue what is the, the main problem of changing, of social change uh, as a whole, the intricate problem of social change. And then uh, I, I will uh, uh, link that to my own take of uh, the work of Stafford Beer on the organization um, as how how an organization uh, which uh, build on the um, on the insights of Stafford Beer could then play a role into uh, into that social change as a whole. Mm. Okay, so I'll start. I, especially in the first part, please do interrupt me. Um, I, I'm aware that uh, uh, some of my uh, take uh, uh, could be uh, idiosyncratic. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to uh, enter into a dialogue of clarify what what we mean by by different things. Um, so here I start, okay? So let me first share the screen because I forgot to share the screen now. Where it is, here it is. So I have a PowerPoint presentation and here it is. Now the, the title is Imagine the City or Anything Else as a Commons. We were not going to talk about the city very much. I had another version of the city of, of this paper which in fact talked a lot about the city, but here I really want to make a general claim. So what? Wh how do we change a complex entity uh, in terms to, to turn into a commons? Um, and uh, my, my start is uh, this quote from Heraclitus, which I like very much. For those who are awake, there is one world in common, but for those who are asleep, each is withdrawn into his own private world. Um, I think uh, it's this, this quote is quite insightful. Uh, uh, grasp the complexity of the our world in common is in a sense a challenge, which then we should translate uh, in political terms, um, in one way or another, and uh, and uh, and I choose, of course, to try to be awake rather than as lead to our world in common, um, which uh, gives us boundaries, uh, which gives us a sense of the complexity, because this world in common is not just the planet Earth as such, as a, as a. <clears throat> Uh, an ecological entity as Gaia, it's uh, also about how we reproduce uh, society uh, in this world in common. And uh, in this sense, my starting point is to define the common, not commons, but the common, as in the tradition of continental Europe, as a condition. The, what is the common? The common is uh, what we we share, and uh, one world in common is essentially reproduced by what we can call, in a very loose sense, social cooperation. And of course, if we take anything or any object uh, uh, that uh, uh, is uh, uh, in our uh, environment, on our table, uh, anything really, a, 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 a pen uh, or anything else. Uh, and if we had to look at the interconnections that link us uh, to the uh, other nodes of social corporations, they are immense. You know, there, there is the plastic industry, there is the metal industry, there is the ink industry, there is extraction, there is a, a variety of people, workers, uh, their families, their communities, 
link, interlinked to that. So uh, in, in different forms, of, in different contexts. Uh, and, and, and so uh, to talk about social cooperation is, uh, is in the first place to talk in terms of uh, a generalized interdependence. And we have to, in a sense, take, uh, um, uh, recognize this generalized independence. Uh, but then again, the question is, what is the dominant form of this in, in interdependence? And the dominant form of, of this interdependence in terms of, in, in relational terms, in the meta-organizational terms, which are a term that I, I'm going to elaborate in a bit, and in terms of the finalities of this interdependence. And of course, in a, and here is my, uh, my Marxist uh, take, of course, this dominant form of interdependence is uh, what we generally call capitalism. Um, as, a, as a very complex system, that uh, somehow orient our social cooperation, that set limits, that set um, uh, horizons of what can be done and what cannot be done, in what form can be done and in what forms cannot be done, certain things. So I, I but capitalism is not something um, uh, uh, it doesn't have a uh, uh, univocal uh, characteristics. I'll, I'll uh, uh, my my argument, and I, I when I just pose to you as 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 a hypothesis here, is that capitalism is a mixed constitution. Uh, in this very moment, in this moment of social cooperation between ourselves, in which we share ideas, we are not uh, performing capitalism. We are actually performing a different form of relation. We are we are not setting up market relations or relations of exploitations in this particular moment, with this moment of social cooperation, as we do not do in many other moments of our lives. So when we say capitalism as a mixed constitution, we are talking about capitalism as a mixed constitution of different forms of social cooperations. Of, of interdependence, but dominated by one. And this is the uh, what uh, uh, create this uh, hierarchical order of things which uh, I, I'm studying, which I only report here as a, a little um, uh, a, a, as a little picture. Uh, I, I hi hi hierarchical meta organization. Uh, this idea comes from some uh, um, uh, sociologists uh, in Italy who have been working on this, uh, uh, Romano Alquati and other, uh, which essentially uh, tell us that uh, uh, the the big social machine in which we are, uh, the, let's call it the Matrix. <laughs> I, I watched the Matrix last night with my with my son. Uh, and, and so that's the metaphor comes to mind easily. The big matrix we are inserted is a systemic matrix. And the hierarchical meta organization is not a, simply a hierarchy of classes. It's a hierarchy of systems uh, in which the higher systems are um, uh, determined the functions of the lower levels while the lower levels defines the conditions of existence. We can go through this pyramid of, of this order of things in greater detail, but I just want to give you the intuitive idea here because uh, I think we have all a sense of how uh, there is a particular structure within uh, what we generally call the economy and, and, and society in terms of what is important or, or, or not, what passes and what doesn't pass. Now, this order of things essentially has inside a, a big contradiction. 
it it plays out continuously because what 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 capital does in this mega organizational uh, of, of social cooperation is uh, to of course uh, the, to attempt to reproduce capital to reproduce capital through the ongoing um, to promoting forms that seeks to promote uh, profit making you know but the logic behind the reproduction of capital is different than the logic around social reproduction what we can call social reproduction the reproduction of life in general and i say when i'm talking about social reproduction <clears throat> i'm taking it in a very loose and broad sense i include the sustainability on the environment okay but i'm 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 talking about the 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 the, the needs of people to reproduce their life in conditions in which the means of existence are monopolized by capital essentially okay and therefore are, are monopolized by the hegemonic uh, drive to accumulation okay so this big contradiction between reproduction of capital and social reproduction is the kind of uh, 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 the the engine that keep reproducing and in fact in an expanded form the the great crisis of our times uh you we can spell it in terms of social injustice and environmental injustice we are talk we're talking about the growing of poverty in the midst of plenty uh the 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 the, the polarization of, of wealth and, and poverty uh we can put in there also many of the wars and the geopolitical games we can put in there the destruction of the environment and uh, and uh, and uh, the world uh, in a state of uh, um ecological collapse okay uh, so that is the, the the common as a condition the common as condition uh it's it's an attempt to frame the big problem of social change in these mega terms okay is how how do we how do we how do we move through social change in us in such a um in, in such a condition now when we're talking about social change in these terms by taking the um uh, the complexity of of uh, uh social cooperation dominated by capital that is the capitalism social change implies in a very uh intuitive sense uh, the need to reorganize social cooperation give it other priorities give it other relational forms but and this can be seen from two point of view from the point of view of a total of the totality of the whole and from the point point of view of a cooperating singularity the point of view of a node within that uh, uh, that uh, complex of social cooperation and from the point of view of social cooperation as a whole it means that the priorities of uh, of social cooperation as it is structured today should be turned upside down in such a way in, in a certain way to so change the meta organization of the commons at the top we shouldn't put just to put uh, to, to give you a sense the, the the drive to accumulation but we should put for example the limit of gaia right followed by the uh, social reproduction the needs of social reproductions that exist the, the very different needs of social reproductions that exist among the people and and which would then give us a different sense of uh, what we understand for use values what the, what is this the the the, the socially uh, the, 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 the what is a social uh, new social definition of what is useful and what is not useful okay think about 
think about the the the, the advertisement industries the the is it useful is not how much we spend for that how much energy we spend for that or oil or whatever we, we, i'm not going into the details of that i'm just giving you trying to give you a sense of the problematic and, and the other way to look at it and i i, I think both are important uh, is the point of view of a cooperating singularity within within this uh, uh, social cooperation as a whole and here i'm taking um uh, the insights by felix gattari uh, the, 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 the French uh, psychoanalytic uh, uh, um, author who wrote it together with Deleuze, Anti-Oedipus in the, in the 70s and 80s, who, who define from the perspective of singularity social change as the reorganization of existing relationship between subjectivities and its exteriority. That is from an agent that, to change the social relation between an, an, an agent, which could be a, a, when, when they talk about subjectivity, it's not simply an individual necessarily, can be an individual, but it can also be a, a, a collective, a subjectivity that pull, put together their, their head. Uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's a subject, it's a collective subjectivity. Uh, and, and, and in order to promote what they want, what they seek, and their own identity is uh, uh, implies the um, an organi uh, some type of organization. Okay, and I'm getting to the point of, of organization. So for Felix Catari, is the question of reorganizing the relationship between this a subjectivity, the circle you can see here at the bottom. Of, uh, <clears throat> of of the slide, that's a subjectivity, and it's it's context, okay, and it's exteriority. In the in in the in the picture here, this is uh, the picture, incidentally, that uh, Maturama and Varela uh, use for the cell. Uh, I said they are biologists, and I use in my previous book to define the commons, but actually is a good, very simple way to define any subjectivity in relation to an environment, okay? It, 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 the circle is the, 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 the circle of uh, the system that uh, uh, want to intervene in the world. The, the arrow in the circle is its own intentionality. It's where it aims at, what you want to do, and the and, uh, the wave at the bottom is the context, and there is ongoing interrelation between between the subject, the subjectivities, and the context. Okay, now uh, I, 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 this notion of meta organization is important. I, I call it meta organization to distinguish it from uh, uh, many other use conventional uses of the word organization. Uh, but uh, again, is inspired from Maturana. Evarela and their notion of autopoiesis. Uh, meta, for, for them, the, Maturana Evarela uh, distinguish between structure and organization. Uh, and the structure is the set of components and relations within a system, all of them, is what, what is made of. Organization is the components and relation that are essential to make that thing what it is, that gives it identity. So if I take a bicycle uh, and uh, I put uh, on the bicycle, I put uh, uh, a holder for my phone to give us, to give me uh, guidance to use Google map while I drive, while I ride. Well, that's still a bicycle. I change the structural component I added a structural component, but it's still a bicycle. It hasn't changed its own identity. Okay. But if I replace the, the wheels with some skis, for example, that's no longer a bicycle because the relation between the things don't give me the purpose that don't, don't, don't produce the purpose of that thing. So for Maturana and Varela, 
uh, the distinction between organization and structure is very important. And I take that and I call it, instead of calling it organization, I call it meta-organization. Uh, so what capitalism has is that pyramid that I've talked about about before, it's a meta-organization. That is an organization that pursues its own reproduction. They want to, that seeks to reproduce in a very complex way, but it seeks to reproduce itself as capitalism. Okay? Uh, and, 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 and through a process of autopoiesis, that is uh, selecting relations and, uh, and, and uh, and uh, uh, and elements and components of the system that allows its own uh, reproduction. Uh, so, uh, so the meta organization enable distinct and interconnected process to reproduce a system in terms of its own identity. That is through its own meta finalities. What is the the, the big the big purpose. So what is the big purpose of capitalism as a whole? Well, the big purpose of capitalism as a whole is to maintain itself as capitalism, okay? Through accumulation, profit-seeking, extraction, the particular uh, um, putting constraint to any alternatives, uh, uh, the limiting property right in certain ways, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that we can see this in a, in a, we can turn into a more political thing, but that's what it is. Now, it's important to, 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 to I think, to um, understand that uh, the identity, when we talk about identity, reproduction of one's identity or a system's identity, identity is, is both changeable and fixed. So for capitalism, for autopoietic capitalism, we had many, many forms of capitalism, both in space and in time, and many forms of regulation of capitalism, both in space and in time, okay? But it's fixed in a sense as well, because if you look at the last 300 years, the, 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 the drive for capitalism to self-preserve itself through expansion within the social body uh, is is identical through itself throughout history. Okay, so it is, uh, in other words, uh, uh, the, the famous uh, saying: uh, "Change everything in order for nothing to change." Right, and and that's a history of of capitalism in a sense. Now, I think to this identity of the autopoietic capitalism, we should think in terms of uh, start to think through a different autopoietic organization or an alter organization or what they call the organization with the O, the capital O, uh, which is a still a, a can have a changeable identity. Uh, due to the fact that there are many people, many things, many ideas, many cultures that can come together uh, in in uh, realizing this organization. But it's important to also think about what is fixed in this alternative alter organization of social cooperation. And what is fixed, in my opinion, the meta-finality or the meta-purpose which gives us the identity of a new organization is uh, is uh, socially what I call social reproduction in in a broader sense, and here I want to use the terms that Marxists use and it was taken back by Foucault in a completely different context, and I also use it in a different context: production of human beings by means of human beings. Now, production of human beings by means of human beings means that the means and ends of social production are the same. There is, in a sense, a radical circularity there. In social, what we do in social reproduction in our social relations is, is we are both means and ends. So we have to, you know, there is a big theme that some 
philosophers are exploring the question of recognition. Uh, the recognition that in our social relation we are both means and ends, and therefore entering into conversation, into dialogue, into forms of direct democracy in, in order to establish what are the mechanisms of social cooperations in such a way that we are both means and ends. The same can be said about, we, we can, to the extent we recognize ourselves as part of Gaia, then we can spell that sentence as production of Gaia by means of Gaia. Okay? So the question here, the, the fundamental point of the organization in reshaping social uh, cooperation is seeking congruence and other terms that Maturama loved very much, seeking congruence between means and ends. So social change then in this sense is moving towards another selection of fundamental components of relation, another identity of, of our organization to social cooperation. So let's talk about this organization. I'm, I'm moving step by step into a, a more kind of, uh, um, I wouldn't say concrete, but maybe more intelligible um, uh, terms. The organization. So what I'm trying to think about, okay, what type of organization is needed to change, to, 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 to change, to to at least have uh, any hope of, 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 of change. Well, again, our uh, picture of, uh, uh, of the organi of, of, of subjectivities that try to change the relation with its own environment. Now, in first of all, as I said, this meta-finality or the purpose, as we said, is social reproduction in a meta-context of capitalism. This implies that this organization uh, should transform social cooperation, but in a context in which capitalism exists, and therefore all the constraints it puts. Uh, and the only way, there is a twofold way that I, I've, I've talked about this in my previous book, there are two complete, not not two different uh, ways, but that the both ways are important to keep them united, precisely because of that type of meta context of capitalism, and and uh, and the two things that need to be somehow organized together is struggle and the promotion of social of alternative forms of social cooperation, that is through the commons. The commons are uh, those uh, social systems uh, whose purpose is not accumulation of profit, but the defined horizontal relation between the communities of the participants uh, and the take care of common shared uh, wealth or uh, or or uh, the, the the wealth that they consider be part of the environment, etc. I'm, I'm not going to talk about commons very much. I, I take it as a as intuitive. If not, we can talk about it. So struggle in commons is what I called commons movement. Raul Zibeki a, a, from uh, uh, Uruguay call it society movement, but it's very similar to what I I I talk about. So the meta finality is social reproduction, a production of human beings by means of human beings in a horizontal way through the commons, but then also through struggles because struggles, movements need to shift the constraints. We, the context of capitalism means that there are, that, that social resources are concentrated in the hands of circuits of capitalist valorization. And so, there, 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 there is plenty of scope for social movement uh, to shift the constraints to, um, and, and therefore allow the expansion of the commons. Now, 
the context is the wave of of this organization. Uh, I I imagine this organization uh, finding itself operating in different specific concrete contexts, which depends on scales of the organization, depends from a neighborhood, from a, to a city, to a nation, whatever is the the, the scale, and and geographical location. So it would have its own cultural uh, landmark. But each of these contexts in a globalized world in which we are, in which capitalist circuits are dominant, is also a particular expression of a meta context, a meta environment, which is the organization of capital, the higher, the order of things, the pyramid of capital, the order of things that capital. So you are now uh, uh, attending this uh, uh, seminar in different parts of the world. Uh, it, there are different con specific contexts, different uh, possible cultural arrangements, uh, different uh, habits, uh, different uh, uh, governments, uh, different uh, uh, neighborhood, uh, different traditions. Yet, yet there is a meta context that somehow allow us to speak of these things called capitalism, because capitalism as a hegemonic form of social cooperation somehow. Is, is is transversal to our context, okay? So uh, the uh, the question then is again twofold: a uh, how and why. The why why such a meta context, the capital, the the the, the, the capitalism. Uh, uh, reproduce deep dynamic, deep, deep crisis of social reproduction. We can, I, I, I can uh, open up uh, Marxist capital, many of the critical literature in the last uh, hundred years, and talk about that. Or I can take the very incredible insights of the Ashby Law that you are familiar with, I gather, uh, and talk about that and I will do that. So what we're going to do now is talk about very very briefly on the Ashby law as the reason why there are so many crises of social reproduction within this, the, the hierarchical structure of capitalism. And how of this organization, actually the why answer also the question of what, what in what direction should we go? And the how question of the how of this organization, I take it from stuff or beer, from the insights of stuff or beer. So the why question. Well, why is there so many crises under under capitalists? Well, I don't know whether I, I need to review uh, Ashby law. Uh, it's a question of variety. The, the variety of the regulator is lower than the variety of the environment which uh, uh, needs to regulate. So there is a variety gap. And uh, uh, so if we take all these problems that we are having in front of us, uh, social crisis, ecological crisis, etc., in order to deal with these many problems in a city or in any other complex entity in the world even you no know, or in a neighborhood etc uh, uh, we need a repertoire of responses with at least an equivalent level of nuances as those problems okay this is essentially what the ashby law tell us but in our different context, uh, the repertoire of responses is limited by the power structure of, of status and market-oriented model, which is, is reconducible to the order of things of capital. Okay? And these then bring about a limit to the variety of uh, the regulator. Who is, which, who is subordinated not because 
he or she is a bad guy or bad woman. It's simply because this is the order of things. This is why they're hired to do certain things. They have to recognize. So it's a structural problem, right? So it, there is a limit to that. So in principle, we know what is the solution. The solution is deeply democratize regulation across a social cooperation in whatever uh, location we are we are we are talking about so from the HP law we we derive both an idea of uh, uh, of uh, 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 of why there are the crises in a very general sense in cybernetic sense but also what what is the horizons of transformation The how question, the how we do a new or this new organization, it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's linked to uh, two uh, big questions, which stuff will be really uh, offer us, I think, a, a very deep insight, which is how to balance the autonomies of the the autonomy of the parts and the cohesion of a whole in our organization that want to be transformative. How to make a city or anything else viable. That is how to strive to maintain a separate identity, which is the one to promote social reproduction, in spite, in spite of working within an environment which is often hostile, hostile to that transformation. Because the self-preservation of capital of the order of things is to maintain itself. So it selects what is useful and what is not useful for itself. And of course, here I go to the stuff for beer. I'm not going to, uh, I mean, you 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 know stuff for beer and uh, and his work uh, much more than me. Uh, for me, what was interesting in in uh, in stuff for beer work is that it, it gives us a sense of how to conceptualize uh, an organization which is autopoietic which is capable of reproducing itself. Like capital, uh, capitalist organization do, that that that, that see itself as autopoietic uh, and, and one that underline the fact, uh, well, underline the importance of uh, heterarchies rather than hierarchies, in which the uh, the producers themselves are autonomous in their own decision making. The question, of course, is for us the the question of the meta finality. Where do we put this autonomy? Do we put it in a in a in a in a conditions of competing with others and therefore undermining other other entities in a different part of the world, or? We are putting this organization away to build new form of social cooperation with others. So the meta finality is is important. If social reproduction is the meta finality, uh, it's not just the social reproduction of the people who work or or, or operate within the, this organization. It's also the social reproduction of people in which we are relating to. Okay, so now. Taking these um, insights from uh, Ashby Law, Stafford Beer, et cetera, the, we, can, we can think about social change in the ideal world in a very simple way, as, you know, as I mentioned, which is not simple, of course, but in an in ideal world, you know, it's just a, you know, of course, you just if you take capitalism as a whole uh, as a as a meta organization, well, then Stafford Beer would tell us: well, first, change the 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 the, the order of uh, uh, of the meta finality. You you cannot have you know, to just take just one thing. You cannot have a a a a um a. a, a you 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 cannot have a system which is endlessly drive to accumulation, therefore extractions and uh, 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 hierarchical differentiations among its producers. 
and not encountering a social and ecological limit, right? So it, it is obvious, it it's, doesn't make sense. There is a limit in which human and Gaia can take. That limit is reached for some time now. So it's very simple. In the ideal world, you say, sorry, mate, you, you just, let's not do that anymore. Let's change our finality. Let's, let's change our identity. We could say that. And the other one, at the same time, is communalized social cooperation that is turning to uh, a common, increase the variety of responses, which means empower people and give them also the instruments for empowering. They uh, increase democracy, increase the distribution of decision making, uh, polycentric, more autonomous and participatory system of governance at every node of social cooperation. Okay, so these two uh, variables are crucial for social change, but that's an ideal world. It doesn't work that way. We couldn't. We couldn't simply, uh, uh, you know, tell these to to the, the 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 power structure that rules social cooperation as a, a intuitive logical thing. It is logical. I think, but it's not something you simply can say. We are in a messy world of power. So this, the question is social change in a messy world of power. And here is the task of organization, the capital O that I'm 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 starting that I'm thinking. And the, the task is start wherever you are and bring together the two access the two dimensions of social change, which are crucial. And one is the commons, that is, which increases the variety of responses to social ecological crisis, because you are uh, um, uh, addressing the problem directly, where the problem are, and by means of the people who are, uh, who are bearing those problems, in the territories that they know and etc., and struggle, and the movements, which uh, shift the, which aim is to shift the constraints for social resources to be invested in social reproduction for rights, health, education, and, 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 and working conditions, whatever. Social reproduction is transversal to any dimension of our life. So, both. In in a current messy world of power, both these dimensions are crucial to add variety to the regulate to the regulation of social cooperation as a whole. So here then it's a I think a difference from my conception from Staff of Beer and my concept concession of the organization that is so powerfully uh, described. Uh, is not completely coincident uh, because our organization, Capital O, the one we are making as a subject of social change, not only aims to reproduce itself, but also Uh -oh. It was describing uh, the, the identity was linked to the um, organization. The, 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 the identity had to, to maintain itself uh, through the various changes. But here, the change is not only inside the organization, is also a change in the context in which is embedded. So in this sense, the organization that brings together commons and movements it's, in a sense, also a political organization. Political, not in the sense of a party, uh, in the political dimension, in the political sphere in the, that goes to election or whatever. Uh, not, not, not in that sense. In, in the sense that it's also, it's, its aims are political in changing the social structure that dominates us. Okay, so 
from here, I move in a more concrete terms using stuff of beer uh, to uh, illustrate how I imagined this organization. So I, let's start, and I will be very fast. I, I noticed the time, I, I, I think already done 50 minutes or 40 minutes, wh what have I done, uh, Angela? Sorry, I, I lose the track of time. I, I don't hear you. You're on mute, Angela. Just saying, don't worry. Just go ahead and, and you can invite conversation whenever you, you are ready. Don't worry. Okay. So let's uh, let's look at how, how would this... Uh, let's take a city as an example, as the, the, uh, the complex entity in which we are locating this organization. Okay? A city. Could be anything, really. So the city, we start from uh, the city as a... Well, we start from the multitude. The multitude is the set of, of, of people, of singularity, to say in, a, in a philosophical terms, that comprise the people in the city. Okay? This is the overall set. By the way, the, the, this design is the, the design I've taken from uh, of the VSM, the Bible system model of stuff or beer that uh, uh, was done by David Phillips. Uh, I, and is inspired from that, is modified and, and changed. So let's start from the city. We got the multitude, the, 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 all the set of people involved in there, okay? The people who lived in the city, operate in that city. And let's call this the organized multitude. The people who decide uh, that uh, life the form of social cooperation within the city need to be changed, need to be moved. The objective of, of this uh, uh, organized multitude is in fact to grow, to expand, to cover up, to, to get more and more people involved in the organization of changing things, okay? Now, for graphical reason now, let's take the inner circle make it larger because I need space in between. But the idea is simply that there is a subset, the organized multitude, and the other one is the multitude, the overall group of people. So five questions that come that can come from the Bible system model of Stafford Beer in this, uh, in this setting. The first one, what are the operations that do the things that justify the existence of the organization? And here is very simple, all transversal operations of social reproduction. And I just indicated three, but it can be many more. Um, Angela told me you can put up to seven. I just I just give an example here is it's not, but the, the key point here, this is the level one in stuff for beer. Uh, the key point is that each nodes, operational nodes of uh, the uh, organization is made of two um, parts. So health includes both the struggle and campaigns around health and the question of uh, alternative health, uh, how people organize themselves to provide each other health and support. The same in housing and the same in education. So the two dimensions of the organizations here that I spell out at the beginning, struggles and commons, are part of this, of each operations. So from here, the, it, it's really simple to map all the other levels of stuff for uh, beer, Harmonizing transversality, are there effective way of avoiding or dealing with conflict between operational activity and social reproduction? And you'll put then the system of our harmonization, which uh, damp oscillations and between the uh, the different uh, operations, sites of commons and, sub, and sites of, of structure, which facilitate cultural uh, values and ritual information, communication platform, uh, 
defining standards of communications and whatever to try to uh, to to uh, make different issues, which are both struggles and alternatives, converge in a in a in a in a broader sense. And of course, the 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 transversal synergy le, le, level three are there effective ways of taking advantage of potential synergies between a different operation? We add the third level, which add cohesion, uh, balance between cohesion of the wall and the parts, uh, encourage mutual support, uh, brings the uh, criteria for decision making. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Or establish mechanism of bargaining for uh, co uh, common resources, and so on and so forth. So this organization uh, uh, builds up really from Stafford Beer um, uh, uh, work. Uh, the strategic reflection is paramount. Strategic reflection. Uh, uh, re don't forget that the the the, the environment in which the organization is located is in their different contexts, also the meta context of, of capitalism. And, and, and there are always uh, uh, strategies and counter strategies of computation. So here we have the, uh, the navigation of the system, um, uh, opportunities for alliances and further con convergences, for example, uh, is, is paramount in this. Uh, what what are what are the uh, what what moves there in the multitude which is still not part of the organization? How can become how can uh, new uh, synergies being produced with uh, new convergences being produced with different uh, uh, sites of struggles uh, in in different parts of the city? And finally, of course, the meta finality, which uh, uh, is the overall assembly of the meta or organization where the basic purpose, politics, and ethos and identity is uh, uh, reproduced uh, in the organization. Of course, the same as uh, as in 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 the work of of Stafford Beer. Also, uh, this one, of course, uh, can follow different levels of, of recursion at the level of neighborhood, at the level of the city, uh, districts, the whole, or the region, or the nation. So that's about it. And uh, looking forward to hear your comments. Well, thank you very much, Massimo. Really, um exciting possibilities this open. So um, I would like to just invite uh, questions. Who who would like to start with questions, comments? Um, do we have any questions? Perhaps we Ian, can... Ian has his hand up, Angela. Uh, Ian, please. Please. Hi. Uh, first of all, thank you, Massimo. Uh, it's really good to see logic uh, of such a caliber put out so clearly as well. Thank you. Um, you, you mentioned of autopoiesis as a fundamental concept you're working with. And I recall Stafford, uh, when he landed in Chile, met uh, Machuara and Varela and put the word pathological in front of autopoiesis. And when I see your descriptions of capitalism, the ca capitalism is to me pathologically autopoietic. It, it builds itself regardless of its externalities for its own purposes. I just would like to hear your view of that. That was that's my question. Thank you. <laughs> that, that, that's actually a good way to to to, to put it. Actually, so it was was a staffer who. Yeah. It's very good. Yes, yes. Uh, my, my understanding, other people in this call will know this story much better than me, but he landed in Chile and said the two people he wanted to speak to first was Maturana and Varela and, and the pathological. And when I look at the world, I see pathological autopoiesis. Absolutely. Just... I Thank you very much for this. Uh, it's it's a very good uh, way to, uh, to, to, to put it. It's, it. it's nothing else than 
pathological. I mean, we reached a point in which it's, it's so pathologic, which is suffocating, really. It, it's, I mean, from whatever whatever level you 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 look at it, um, it's it's pathological. What, what how cannot be pathological, given what we know? Just to take the example of of climate catastrophe, and still subsidizing and investing in fossil fuels and gas, in we we we're doing it. That's pathological, and we're doing it because. Profit drives and all that. It, that's pathological. It's a system that doesn't recognize its own limit, that that doesn't see the environment in which it, it cooperates. So, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, that, um, the, the sort of lead on from that is that, therefore, you've got to address the pathology. Yeah, well, the pathology, yeah, yeah. How, how do we address the pathology? And I, I think... I think uh, um, the pathology is addressed by attempting to set limits to it mm. and by constructing a different forms of social cooperation. These are the two dimensions. Then, of course, this takes different forms in different ways, but the, the, the kind of axis of transformations, they are those. I mean, I... In, I mean, when we're talking about movement, struggles, uh, and, and in commons, I mean, generally, especially, especially in in the Anglo-Saxon world, in, in in the discussion around the commons in in uh, in Britain and in the United States, the commons are not seen as part of struggle. I mean, Eleanor Ostrom. Uh, who has done a great work, eh? but her conception of the commons is just one of the alternatives. So you've got markets, you've got states, and then you have the commons, which is true. But if you see this in historical perspective, uh, well, it's not just like that. It's not just the market, state, and the commons. We have like three concentric circle now, capital, the state, often subordinated to capital, and the commons. So, consent is circle in terms of, of, of degree of importance and, and who determines what. So it's different, but we, we need a change in that. We definitely need a change. We, we cannot uh, 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 literally afford to you, <laughs> afford uh, uh, this pathology to continue. And I think these two dimension, the common, finding ways to articulate this in a very virtuous autopoietic way, uh, commons and, 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 and social movements uh, are, are, is, is, is crucial. Thanks, Massimo. Uh, Massimo, there is a request to um, uh, stop uh, sharing the screen so that we can all interact. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, Marta, Marta has a question. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if, I, if, if, if this is a question. I really just want to say thank you, Massimo, and thank you, Angela and the Forum for all this work you're doing. Um, I really, I'm very moved because of your presentation, because it really helps us here in our project we're leading in Colombia, but on a worldwide, I mean, way of thinking in terms of building something, uh, 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 in terms of, uh, uh, I mean, everything that you have presented there, I can say it's happening here, but it's being uh, constructed not from the academic, although I've been connected to all these ideas from the beginning. I'm a very good friend of Angela. And our idea here is about a Minga Net, a network of Mingas, which are these kinds of uh, organized structures who help uh, each other to uh, resolve uh, needs and problems they have. So how can we get organized together in, uh, when uh, we put life at the center, life care at the center? So this is, uh, uh, as you have presented everything uh, 
matches very well because yes, we, we know capitalism and accumulation is what we need to change to a social develop a well-being for all, all of us. And we are on, but we have, a, I don't know, I, I cannot really um, move into, in, into your final proposals, but I, I, there's a lot of uh, things I will, we would like to connect with you because uh, I think we're on the same, on the same page, exactly on the same page. But we, uh, what we have, uh, we're working, but we're trying to find the money and, 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 and our focus is on how can we, uh, uh, on this uh, so, so, uh, subset, which is the organized multitude, uh, this is Minganet, how can we uh, find all these organizations, small organizations that are looking, that have our, that same purpose of life care, um how and and we are already working on that so how we as examples can get together and uh, work together what do we need in order to uh, expand uh, our interests and, and 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 do the transitions outside and help on the transitions so we we are working around needs and uh, getting together in order to uh, do incidents, political incidents with uh, with with the government, and, and bring the uh, also the um, the private sector to help us. On because we think that this is that this really comes out of, of of having a sustainable world. And and if you're if you're in a capitalism way of thinking, there the no, no, I mean the, the capital way is is the capital way of the world. But not all of the capital people there are agree of, uh, about that. That's what the, the, the people that we all need to bring about. So I just want to say that there's something that I would say might be uh, lacking here, which is that uh, we need the, or to, to to translate it, to transform the organizations. We need to transform our relationship with a niche, as Maturana says. And I agree all about, all about this, uh, having Maturana like a, 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 I like it very much as very important in this autopoiesis way of, 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 of getting these organizations uh, be reproduced and all these things. And uh, but uh, going inside, I mean, working inside the people, the persons, there's a lot of things, a, a lot of way to do and a lot of things to do, which is so basic because we cannot build organizations when people uh, that will be part of these organizations are not really clear of what they want. And there's a lot of things to change because our chips are already capitalism. So we need to work on, on really uh, on really going in and working with, with, the, with the people to help them recognize and, 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 and work with that. And I, I bring here this, uh, which, which I'm very, Astonished on how well are they doing on uh, the um, the these people from the monastery of Plum Village with the uh, teach not Han, uh, which are doing such amazing courses around the world on on Zen and the art of saving the planet, and they're not talking about anything about saving the planet, but but really mm, having spread this consciousness on the persons. To really think about themselves, or how are they going to move into this society, which is coming to an end if we don't uh, do something else? So that's something that 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 that, that we are really thinking on, really having that uh, imposition, but uh, or including in the in the efforts we need to do. And um, and and I'm just really looking for help on on, on you because we 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 haven't said. How can we get organized? And that's my that has been our our big search. on how can we all these movements really get organized? But all we need, we know that we have to have a platform to connect us all, and to help us all together to share and to and to give us benefits and to show all these examples, um, to 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 uh, as 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 the way of of moving on and. And having this possibility of of um, of, in, of in, of getting together for the proposals, so that's how we are thinking of the DAOs, like that these decentralized autonomous organizations, which might uh, help a lot of that. But uh, I, all I just want to know to say is that I would like 
to really continue working and 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 having I mean exchanging uh, because we have a lot of of of, of uh, vacios, uh, empty holes on, on on this and and I'm I've been always looking on the viable system model maybe to 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 see how can we help on that and um, so we can just continue talking if it's possible and if you would like. Absolutely, Marta. You, you, what, what you're saying, incidentally, I, I must mention that a lot of the things that I've been working on these years and, and which uh, this presentation is one of the results, I have, got in, I have got inspired not simply from the work of, of, of authors, of, of academic studies, or but I, for me, it has been fundamental a travel I did in in, um, in in South America. Unfortunately, I didn't go to Colombia, but I traveled through the Ande in uh, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. And uh, I, I visited many of uh, the, the, the places, the Minga, <laughs> uh, uh, the Mingas, which is so uh, uh, embedded in the, in the, in, in, in the social cooperations for reproducing daily life. Uh, yeah, and I was fascinated, fascinated by, by this and, and, and it has been extremely inspirational. Um, the, the amazing thing that I noticed in, in, in South America is precisely the fact that uh, uh, so many, uh, I mean, 500 years of genocides have not destroyed the spirit, I mean, talking about autopoiesis here, you know, is they've not destroyed the spirit of, in, first of all, indigenous people in, 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 in Latin America that, that uh, through their culture, the idea of embeddedness within Gaia uh, and, and their ongoing solidarities, uh, it's just amazing. It's it's really remarkable. Uh, it's something that everybody should travel to to Latin America to 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 have a sense of of a space which is open in spite of the horrors, the historical horrors, and 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 yeah. But definitely, uh, let's continue the conversations. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Massimo and Marta. We have uh, four people wanting to interact with you. David, I don't know if David is still here. David? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I could, a, a brief comment. Firstly, thank you, Massimo, for this excellent uh, talk, which gives VSM a, a very useful political dimension, which I think is often lost in standard interpretations. I also want to briefly say that I've been involved in the struggle personally with residents in my street for the last four years against a property developer who wishes to expand a conserva conserva conservation area in our area, knock, knock down trees, put in houses that totally destroy the character of the area. And we formed a group. We formed a group that challenged this and changed the conversation and introduced a narrative to do with social the social impact of this change and what it affects, how it affects the character of the area. And it wasn't just a matter of architecture, there's also a question of a personal view of the, what it's like to live in that area. And we changed the narrative with the local authority and the, the application was refused. It's taken us four years to do this. The question I was going to ask you, Massimo, is it simply a question of improving the commons and this was a common this was a garden or is it also a question of retaining what already exists as a common common a piece of commons i don't be interested in your views on that i think it's both i think it's absolutely both i mean in in that uh, pathological autopoiesis of capital as we were talking uh, one of the effect is uh, uh the enclosures, and I put it in, in quote because enclosures, you know, we know in Britain the traditional enclosure, but enclosure is a term we can use in many sense. When in when in, in Britain they 
took out public toilet and and and, and put them in, into a pain system that's a kind of enclosure uh, so defending the, the 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 spaces of the commons is paramount because because in our context there is a, there is a force there that attempt to uh, uh, privatize uh, enclose them turn them into a components of a capitalist machine yeah right and and th that's 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 it's in its own nature that's the the autopoietic pathology of, of capitalism but 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 we would not be able to survive i mean it, the the, pro the scale of the problem that we have at the social level are so big that we have to rethink the social organization, the, the organization of social cooperation as a whole. We, we cannot continue to think in terms of uh, um, uh, production for profit as the dominant one, as a dominant form of, of social production. Uh, because that leads us to complete distraction. And so the challenge is also to create new commons, to create new forms of social cooperation, which are commons based, where the, the participants decide for themselves yeah. and all that. So they're both uh, important. It's not yeah. an either or, but really both, okay. I think. Okay, thank you. Thank you, David and, and Massimo. Uh, we have Marcus Schoeninger. Thank you, Angela. Professor, uh, congratulations for your uh, take on uh, an in innovative way of drafting the VSM. Now, my question is a conceptual one. You are putting the concept of the pyramid of capital at the center of your, of your talk. But you, I would be grateful if you could also define that or operationalize it. Okay, look, it's 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 a bit long story, but I give you I give you an idea. It's it's uh, this uh, pyramid of capital is um, it's an idea of uh, uh, understanding both the world and also how our our uh, how our own mental process is generally structured to think what is most important or not not in terms of uh, con not 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 in terms of uh, as a result of a contemplation but in our daily operation okay in, in our participating in it so okay to i i put a, a series of levels just to give you a sense of how they work the, at the bottom level is gaia Gaia understanding as all the processes, the autopoietic processes of non-human nature. I mean, we are part of Gaia, but you know what is called non-human nature is whatever is outside us. We are part. I mean, I believe we are part of nature, so we are also part of Gaia. But in a conceptual way, the bottom level is Gaia. Is the set operation. Now, this, this, this. Uh, uh, Gaia is affected by the social relations above above it, and uh, and uh, above Gaia, which is the bottom of the social dimension in this system, is our life in the vernacular, our direct relations. I'm using a concept by Ivan Illich. Uh, the vernacular is is uh, where we look for sostenance. Uh, in our daily life, is our uh, cooking dinner, talking to the neighbors, uh, meeting friends. Uh, we can extend this, of course, but it, it, it's an ongoing, it, it, it's a form of social cooperation, okay? And in which we seek direct relations. In one, and there is power there, there is conflict. I'm not trying to romanticize this dimension. But generally, we we work in, in, in that dimension, in direct relations. Uh, above that, there is a different level of system. Each of these levels is systems level. Eh? Above that, there is a level of the use value. Is when we are talking about 
when we get together and say, okay, what do we do? Shall we, let's produce a paper together or, or let's produce a, a tractor together also or, or, or whatever. And, and our thinking, our mental frame is about use value, is what is useful, what is not useful, you know? And above that, there is the level of valorization, capital valorization. Capital valorization uh, shape. No, capital valorization is the production of capital by means of capital is is increasing itself. Now that rationality, as you know, has an effect on how we define the lower level, the use value, because. One thing is to think about what is the best way to produce a certain thing. And one way is to think, what is the best way of producing these things for receiving a profit? There are two different questions. Now, utility and capital valorization are two different levels of rationalization. So the pyramid of capital means, essentially, at this level, it means that the, the valorization has put constraint on the social definition of what is use value in every dimension of life. And in fact, the dimension of use value is a, is a, is a battleground between our sense coming from the level of, conviv of, of vernacular of what is right, what is wrong, the measure of things, of doing things, and capital valorization. So there is this battleground there. And the final top dimension of the pyramid is all that um, uh, dimension, political dimension, that are aimed at uh, controlling and orienting the turbulences that happens at the different systemic level and across levels to maintain the pyramid as such. The geopo geopolitics, for example. Geopolitics is a way to define, well, okay, we fight who, 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 who is uh, uh, commanding the, the world here, who's defining the rules of the game, but we want that structure to be maintained a certain way. The, 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 if you look at geopolitics now, is not to change, to to, to uh, uh, it's not a struggle between between uh, um, uh, different powers in order to change the world for the better. It is a struggle between different powers to keep the world, social cooperation as a whole, the same, but changing the power. So who who decides and who's not. I'm not sure whether it, I Thank mean, you. it's a yes, but it, no, it gives you. Aren't you arguing too much in a conservative manner? I what mean, is that? We have to progress. No, I'm not. No, we have, we have to move move away mm. from this. To, right. we, we have to look. If you think about the pyramid, we really have to turn it upside down. What, what's the more important at this moment? Well, we the, the recognizing. No, look. If this is the pyramid, the top level in a, in a functional, uh, in, in, a, in a layers of systems, the top level define the constraints to the lower level, right? At the moment, Gaia is at the bottom. We have to recognize the constraint of Gaia. We have to turn this pyramid upside down. So that means that valorization of capital is really a low priority there. There is social priorities. There are, you know, it's, it's the definition of what is useful, what is not useful. All these should be become priority in relation to the to the maintenance of the of this of, of, of the organization. So no, I'm not conservative at all. I'm for moving it up. It's, uh, yeah, changing upside down, shifting upside down, subverting it in, 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 a, in a very typical sense. Thank but, you. That's but, very helpful. Okay. Thank you, Marcus and, and, and Massimo. We have now Stephen, Stephen Harwood. Thank you. I really enjoyed your talk. Very provocative and uh, 
made me think a lot. It was making me think about universal credit as a welfare system and the multiple or the recursive nature of the of this as a system. Yeah. And I also focused my attention, drew my attention to a problem in Edinburgh with regard to the tension between tourism as um, an economic um, system and the community. And with it, local government lock in. So the an emphasis upon the need to develop the tourism economy to the detriment of the community to the point where uh, homelessness and the pushing out of the community is a serious problem here with it, the dominance. I think Edinburgh is one of the problems that have uh, got the densest population of Air, Airbnbs in the world. And there's a lot of debate going on in the Scottish government, which creates the question for me with regard to this issue of local government and the polit political lock-in to a particular ideology. How do we change the political narrative so that we're actually focusing more upon the community and well-being? And the, I assume we're talking about the common. Well, that's uh, that's a big question. Uh, in uh, it's it's a, it's a question that that uh, should be posed within that organization, within that context. How do you change the political narrative? Is part of the question that the organization should address. Uh, I I don't think uh, there is. Uh, Again, uh, I think that uh, uh, the political narrative is uh, is um, is changed to the extent there is a movement that make it change. That uh, a movement that is created that goes out, canvas support, uh, uh, talks about things, uh, um, provoke reactions, enter the public debate uh, with with a clear, or if not clear, at least with an horizon of what should be done. An horizon of, of, of the problem. I mean, you're talking about Airbnb. Italian cities, I mean, not just Venice, but now uh, Bologna is starting, Naples now is full of tourists. A lot of people have to move away from uh, uh, unaffordable uh, rental accommodation because of of, of Airbnb uh, moving away from the city. There is an enclosures of of city centers here. No, uh, is happening, uh, but it's part of the political uh, transformation we have to engage with uh, again through uh, movements uh, that get organized and getting organized in a transversal way. Um, because the question of the of, of home, of house, uh, is, is, uh, is one of the many uh, issues that uh, uh, of, of social reproduction. So I, I, I the, 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 the meta solution is, uh, is, is the same in a sense. Uh, organize uh, without organization there is there is nothing but our voices are are just you know floating around an organization that provide alternatives and that fights at the same time well thank you uh, Massimo and uh, Stephen, we have one more question and uh, and a final comment from Marta, but we are running out of time. So let's take the, the, the question from Carlos. Hi, hello. How are you doing? Uh, Hi. First of all, thank you to Massimo and hello to everyone. It's, uh, it's my first time here. And uh, I like to say I'm a practicing cybernetician. Uh, I've studied cybernetics since... Uh, 2015 when I first came across of it and I decided to uh, sell my business and start an, an organization uh, for building software around the VSM and 
uh, well, uh, I like to say a cybernetic model. And it, it's uh, it's very refreshing uh, to finally meet some people, uh, 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 not in person, but this is the closest it, <laughs> it could get, I guess. And uh, I like to um, just come out and uh, keep uh, coming to these meetings. And also, uh, I think I like to keep conversating uh, with Massimo and everybody else uh, about the model I'm applying, because uh, I just uh, read, uh, uh, well, at my business, we are at the uh, at the point where we are going to come up with the product uh, based on the VSM. Uh, we call it viable food uh, in the working name. And well, well, I have, uh, I understand the model really well. Uh, we can, we think we can apply it to the food industry. And uh, the, the thing is, uh, when it comes to uh, explaining cybernetics, it's, uh, or the cybernetic model, this is, uh, really uh, hard uh, and I think the the same take that Massimo has on the like the pyramid and the stuff uh, I, I have it with of course my words and our models but uh, I just uh, everyone who will like to talk um, I just wanted to raise my hand and say uh, I would love to I know we're limiting time and I would love to extend on the thing I'm building or we're building. But um, quickly, I'm just going to say uh, the the thing I, uh, the thing I, the, the way we think about uh, capitalism uh, is like uh, in the short version, it's like uh, capi first we had food, right? And and then we, we, uh, we included money or capital into that system and then uh, the the thing about uh, money or, or capital or a coin is that it lacks data right it, it, it doesn't have data is free it's it's free to uh, move around systems and social systems and socio-economical systems and it, it creates this freedom uh, or autopoiesic autopoietic but but it can be pathogenic uh, as you guys have said and we think that after the money economy, we're uh, right now living a data economy, right? An information economy. And uh, the same thing happened uh, to data that it happened to money. Uh, it, it went into the top of the pyramid and it created this whole uh, problem again. So we think we, we, we can invert that pyramid just to use the Massimo's example uh, by uh, understanding giving the user the small user the final user data that he can share and we call it coordination data because and it's very trans and it's based on transparency and efficiency and well that is pretty much it I don't want to take any more time of this because it's very long subject and uh, but uh I will be looking forward to these conversations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carlos. Um, very welcome to the community and please send me your email and I will put you in the list, okay? Uh, Massimo, uh, there is uh, a few requests from people who would like to who, who would like to continue a conversation with you and people are asking if you would be happy to share your email and your presentation to continue yeah, yeah. conversations, yes? I'll send you the presentation. I I have it in a uh in a in a keynote which is the Mac. I'll turn it into a PowerPoint and send it. To I have my, a Mac. I can do that myself. So okay. That's... Okay. So so thank you very much. I mean, I know that Marta wanted to to make a final comment, but before we finish, uh, those of you who are not in the list of the Meta Forum and want to continue uh, this uh, participating in the webinars or continue. Uh, the conversations with Massimo or the speakers, just just send, send me your emails and I will update um, the list so that you can be co continue being 
in touch. Um, Marta, can you do briefly your comment, your final comment? Yeah, maybe um, just to do a reflection in terms of the proposal, but uh, maybe we should not move into uh, seeing what's right or wrong on the on the capitalism that will help us this uh, this um, uh, different kind of of approaching uh, uh, these relations. What I was really thinking is that that we need to really decide which is that world that we can build, we can live, we can we we want to 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 construct because if we go to see the, the things we don't like with capitalism, capitalism is already uh, under consumerism and all these things and and it's so difficult and so corrupted right now when money is the way of finding everything right now in the world and that's our problem here in latin america with the drugs and everything when money is the most important thing that when you uh, are grown or you're born that's what you're you're putting into into your mind so it's a way it's something that we need to change our tips but uh, in, in here we are not looking under what need we need to change but we, we are looking to do the dialogues on what is that that we want to, 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 to do, but start doing it now because we don't have to change anything, just connecting and giving uh, the context to really collaborate, help ourselves, do these dialogues because dialogues is what we, what we need and bring all these experiences because we don't know how to get organized and that's the biggest question, how to get organized so that it really represents the, the needs, which are then our natural needs, which are already in, uh, out of the way. So we need to recover the sovereignty. We need to recover the peace because we cannot talk about food sovereignty or all the sovereignties we need if we don't have peace. So it's not a, a, an easy thing to do, but we have to start, uh, although I'm kind of uh, a little pessimistic when we say no, no that the land it's already taken and we have to talk about the land and, and that's something that, that it, that's why I like so much to get to know that we might continue talking about all this with the persons here that are really interested in that because we're interested in putting this. I mean, we need to work in these ideas right now if, if we really want to do something for, for the world and for our lives, I mean, our, and, and our son. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marta. Okay, Massimo, I think that we have now reached to the end of the of, of, of the meeting. And um, thank you very much. It's really inspiring. And I'm sure that this uh, will be just the beginning of a series of conversations. So thank you very much. And uh, thank, thank you. you for being thank here. you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Massimo. Excellent. Thank you all. Okay. Very interesting, Massimo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. 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 And bye, -bye. The, the next one is um in uh, the first Wednesday in December, and this is a uh, 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 the final one on the cyber scene. It is the film is uh, this film screening about uh, the cyber scene and the future of the cyber scene in the twenty first century. Hope to have you with us again. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.